Konnichiwa Mina. It's 1884 as we got our asses kicked by Austria since um, Italy couldn't keep up their own part of the war goal here and um, try to take back, um, I think it was Lombardia. So now we got to rebuild our military and stuff before I can begin my um, eventual retry and hopefully take over Manchuria this time. And since they're al and since Manchuria is allied with China at the moment, since I can't go to war with Manchuria since um, they're not, I mean, since they're a um, puppet. I mean, um, yeah, sub-state of China, so I had to go to war with them. And since I have a cause of belly with Manchuria, if they go to war with them, I should be able to get this part. And probably another part of China, too, that I might take, too. But, and of course, we gotta wait till the end of the year when our truce ends. So, we're not gonna be attacking them anytime soon. But right now, and of course, before I filmed, I worked on all the railroads and forts down here. And how's our naval bases going along, too? Okay, they're all upgrade, or being upgraded to the next level. So, got a lot of work to do in this episode, as we got to fix all the stuff that got destroyed um, because of Austria. It was really bad. That was pretty damn pathetic. Send all, all these troops right here instead. As they're all coming up. Ooh, education! Ooh, severed Darwinism, so let's see. Wow, go up a point every less than a month. That is unbelievable. Alright, so I think I might... Actually, we'll focus on my spheres instead that I'm trying to work on. Let's see who is next that I'm trying to take over. Japan's already on our sphere. Okay, we'll do Portugal then. Okay, our uh oh rebellion. Oh jeez, Ukrainian nationalists. Well, that's something I've never seen before happen. All right, then should be an easy kill. I have never seen that before, Ukrainian nationalists. Oh, no, 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 God, that's not good. That is definitely not good. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ, what an epic problem this is going to be. Thankfully, none in Africa, but look at this. They're all over the place in the Empire. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, time to go refund them now since they can't afford to take care of themselves. Start killing the rebels off. I think that's all the troops we got over here. For crying out loud, they had to wait till this moment to decide to um, rebel when we're weak. Alright, so, send you guys to take care of everything down. Oh my god, look at them all over the place down here. It's ridiculous. Alright, so, okay, got no troops over here. They're too weak at the moment. Alright, so, send you guys out. Come on. Freak. I thought I combined you already. Alright, now you're all recombined. And, of course, everyone else is busy fighting. Alright, so now that they're killed... Damn, we lost somewhere. Shit. Fucking so... Um, all of a sudden, don't have a chance to, like, get ready and stuff like that. Ridiculous. As our literacy is going up really fast. Ugh, how useful is that one? Oh, damn it, they kicked us out of Egypt. Motherfuckers. Alright, so once they get there, we'll combine them. Pause, damn it, so you can combine. Now you can go take them on. Oh, okay, the capital of Mo I mean, Moscow is safe at least. Oh, no, it's actually St. Petersburg we gotta worry about. That's the capital. As long as that's safe, we're fine. I think there's an event, but maybe it's only in a mod or maybe later on in the game where you can change the capital of Moscow, but not right now, I think. At least I don't think there's an event for it yet. Where's. Yeah, it'd be right here. Fuck them. Okay, nothing's appearing. So I guess not. Or maybe it's one of those events I just don't notice it. Okay, I got more diplomatic points. Use it to fix Portugal's relationship. Build some Hussars. We're just wasting a whole bu losing a whole bunch of money after all this crap. And the rebels are still in Korea. Are you kidding me? They've been there for years and they can't even fight them. That's how terrible they are. Just 2,000 left and they can't even beat that. That's pretty bad. And of course, there's no way I can help them. <laughs> Alright, so now we're just killing them. So it goes... Oh, great, we lost somewhere. Shit. So let's see. Um, Can't do anything at the moment. Alright, so now... Okay, looks like they've gotten killed... Completely over here. Great. 
So, down here in Central Asia, okay, there's still a whole bunch of them because we don't have as many troops right here. Filled to the brim in the caucuses. Alright, we killed, pretty much killed them all in Europe. And now we're going to, like, Central Asia. Well, that's, this is not really part of Central Asia. This is Central Asia. We still got to take care of the caucuses. Oh, that's right. It was, okay, anarcho-liberals. That's right. I mean, we got so many shit to take on. <laughs> 148,000 troops. Jesus Christ. The hell did all them come from? Better, like, uncombine them and stuff. Split them in half. We need that to happen. Same goes for you. You gotta be split in half. And, of course, the half I split off is not getting to work. Well, at least our literacy is going up a lot. It's going up a whole point, I believe, in this entire episode. And at least, thankfully, when you send them to revolt again, I mean, I'm... Um, take care of rebellions, they will go back to their former spots as long as you don't move them around yours manually. Because that will be very useful if they went back to their original positions. Oh no! Oh, communist this time! Uh-oh! It said St. Petersburg! That's not good. 9,000, but still, that's a problem. You get your ass... You better get your ass up there to save St. Petersburg immediately. Although, if we did have a communist rebellion happen, the Soviet Union will form, which would be really interesting to see that happen. <laughs> I thank God... Because I think it was, um... I think it, yeah, it was in um, Sir Light Mod when I do my Ireland playthrough of a communist government forms. Everyone and their mother will fight to try and take them on. Alright, so... All pops in St. Petersburg. We'll do that instead. Because the last couple times we actually lowered everyone else's um, prestige. This time we're going to try and gain ours. Alright, they're still on their way as we're suffering takeovers right here. Okay, they're on their way, thankfully. Alright, we kicked them out of St. Petersburg. That's definitely a, the major good news. But they're all over the place still in Central Asia. Alright, they're getting wiped out in the Caucasus, thankfully. Alright, so there's still a couple um, takeovers. Of course, there's some in Finland, which those guys are about to take them out. They're just getting all wiped out to oblivion. Alright, so, fuck Polish Lithuania. So, we gotta worry about reactionaries, anarcho liberals, I mean, yeah, liberals, Jacobin rebels, and communists. So, okay. Still all over the place in Central Asia, pretty much, as we're almost nearing the end of the year. Army's going up quickly, but not quick enough. Oh, Austria. Man, Prussia attacking Austria, huh? Hmm, that's interesting. Let's see what's the... War. Oh, the, the Brothers' War again. Oh, wow, it's a major European war. Oh, boy. This is going to be big. <laughs> oh, damn. And, of course, I'm sure someone's going to probably ask for access very soon, which if Austria does, fuck them. I'm still pissed off from the last episode. And Austria's always been a pain in the ass for me. They've been a pain in the ass so far in this game, just like they were a major pain in the ass. Nah, that's one of the German puppet states, now, and fuck them. Because I remember my Ormen playthrough, I tried to take over a part of um, Austria. They took, prevent us from doing it twice, and we had to do a white piece with them. It was pretty bad. Still rebels in Central Asia? That is unacceptable. Would we'll die. I don't, I don't know, let me pause for a second. Hope that's not me. Please don't be me. Please don't be me. Oh, great. So, for all of you who don't remember, I'm still trying to colonize this part. I mean, these two parts of um, Africa. This one we're fighting with the Italians. And this one we're fighting the French in. And... As you see, I have a two-point lead over um, Italy. If I was somehow able to get a three-point lead, or would they just give up, we can get that. However, because we still haven't fighting over us for years and years and years, and no one's colonized it yet, it's formed into a crisis. And thankfully, since um, everyone else is at war, no one's going to get involved. So only, only Spain would get involved. And they're likely to side with us if we got... Okay, we don't got any diplomatic points. Maybe I could... Well, of course, the problem is if we do anything like that, we'll get infamy. And I don't want to lower, mean, lose, mean, get any more infamy. I want to try and lower it so we can take on China soon. Maybe I could white peace out. Okay, we'll pause for a second. I'm not exactly sure if that's 
It's really kind of confused, so I'm not going to touch it right at the moment. I mean, that's so weird looking. Because if I accept that, that makes it say that um, they'll um, accept it. Oh, let's just... We can confess somewhere. Pause for a second. See what this is about. Oh, was, oh we can colonize Zambia! Alright, France gave up! So now we can start investing in... Um, oh, that's right. I think it's a Christ, so we might not be able to. Ah, shit. Well, at least we got Zambia now. Thank God the French finally gave up. But now we got to start... We got to resolve this crisis before we can do anything else. Try and get good relationship with the Spanish again. If I can just press on, there we go. That way we got to ensure that they'll side with us, just in case. I guess all the rebels are... Oh, there's still some more left. And, of course, now that they're finally killed, we can cut their subsidies. Since they don't need them anymore. I got to probably start working on um, capitalists soon. But the problem is the liberal government is not friendly at all when it comes to um, capitalism. Oh, they're interventionists, so that's pretty good. Oh, they got another one. As a fair problem is, I think laws mean f f free trade maximum tariff. Of course, the problem is that would be, well, wow, we lowered that tariff pretty damn high. Let's raise that back up so we get some money. Actually, let's see, what's that twenty five percent? All right, so. That's how it may, may would be. Maybe I'll get the anarcho-liberals in the power because they're still pro-military. As we're now in 1885. As I'm going to have to figure out what am I going to do about um, Italy right here. Because we got to do something eventually. If I can get Italy, um, Rush, I mean Spain to form on my side, maybe they'll finally give up. Because if I press this, they'll... If I accept this, we'll give them that. But if I don't, if I do this, they won't get it like white piece out but the problem is I'll lose r prestige that doesn't make sense at all and of course can't do that <laughs> that's just that's so weird ridiculous so guess what we'll to wait and see what happens now I'll go check my um, prestige and stuff J oh Japan now has re rebellion going on now I gotta check that out see what's going on so let's see in our sphere with Sweden, kick out. Um, hmm. don't want to piss off the Spanish, so we'll piss off it the Italians instead. And Korea now. Guess we'll get back to work pissing off Prussia. All right, so now let's go check what's going on. Okay, they felt, felt fought off. Oh, Japanese reactionaries, huh? Interesting. I'm surprised they'd be around since they're a secondary power still. <laughs> I can't believe Japan's never been a great power yet in this game. They've been, like, held down pretty damn good, apparently. <laughs> well, that's it for this episode. As I'm going to have to figure out what am I going to do about this crisis in Italy. The only problem is I don't really have any troops of any kind to fight back probably against them. But then again, they don't have many that much either. So perhaps we could win, but I'm not so sure. Now, let's see. We're going to probably... Let's see. Oh, I can't put the um, anarcho-liberals in. No, that's just nice. Only if left... Westernizer, that's actually pretty good. Of course, problem is we can't build any um, factory. Yeah, we. Can. Yeah, we don't think we can do that. I'm gonna try Westernizer and go every year to see what happens. That'll be interesting. Well, that's gonna be the end of this episode. 